Aquarium salt, what is it and how is it used? In the case of aquarium salt, you can meet with many opposing opinions, especially in terms of whether it is suitable for a freshwater aquarium. In the case of aquarists, everyone has an opinion on this, while the biggest fans of salt consider it the best medicine for everything. When it comes to controversial topics, the truth usually lies in the middle. It is worth listening to different opinions and then making your own decisions. Therefore, you need to find out exactly what aquarium salt really is, what types of it we can find on the market and whether it is safe for all organisms in a fresh water aquarium. Learn all about in this video. We encourage you to watch this video from start to end. Hello everyone. We welcome you all to our YouTube channel Blue Aquatics. We'll discuss properties and application of aquarium salt. What purpose can aquarium salt be used and what are the effects of this? The producers of aquarium salt themselves are of the opinion that slightly salted water in a fresh water aquarium has a better effect on the health of the flower horn fish. They also claim that it lowers their stress and regulates the osmotic pressure in the water. It also prevents many diseases and parasitic infections. First effect is osmoregulation. It is a set of biological processes that affect the regulation of concentration of organic compounds. Everything is based on the well described phenomena of osmosis. For sick flower horn fish, proponents of salt say that it helps the cells to work through osmoregulation. The next component is nitrogen poisoning. It is a condition where a lack of sufficient beneficial bacteria can cause the concentration of nitrates in the aquarium to rise, which is a byproduct of flower horn fish excretion. The addition of aquarium salt can create a natural barrier in the form of chloride ions that block the absorption of nitrates by the flower horn fish. Next is parasitic and fungal infections. Adding salt not only protects against the development of parasitic infections, but in the case of some fungi and parasites, it is not 100% effective. And when the flower horn fish are already sick, Special baths should be used in solution with a higher concentration. Now let's discuss types of aquarium salt available in the market. There are currently three different types of salt available in the market. The first is aquarium salt for freshwater aquariums. You can also find it under the name toning salt produced from evaporated seawater and specially designed for freshwater aquariums. It does not contain any harmful additives for flower horn fish that affect their fertility. It should be remembered that the compositions from different manufacturers may differ to a great or lesser extent and that information on the packaging must be adhered to. The second is non-iodized table salt. In theory, pure table salt is ordinary sodium chloride. However, the lack of additional ingredients and the really low price encourages many aquarists to use this type of salt in the aquarium. Next is sea salt. Its composition is more complicated than that of table salt. In addition to sodium chloride, you will also find there calcium, 
magnesium, potassium, zinc and other minerals. This is a type of product that should only be used with invertebrates and marine fish. Some aquarists use sea salt for the so-called therapeutic paths. Next question arises, is aquarium salt recommended for flower horn fish? It's fair to say that in the right amounts, not only is it harmless, but it will actually improve the health of flower horn fish. It is worth approaching this type of measure with great caution and not using them in large doses. A well-administered aquarium salt can help flower horn fish not only with fungal and parasitic infections but also save lives in case of several nitrate poisoning. It has to be assumed that the more acidic and softer the water, the worse the aquarium inhabitant will cope with the additional dose of salt. This is certain for species such as catfish, otos, discus and koi. Goldfish, guppies and most type of African chichilids will not protest against the additional dose. Let's discuss how to safely use salt in the freshwater aquarium. In the simplest terms, it is added with caution and in moderation in adding it to the water. If you want to use salt in your aquarium for the first time in your life, it's best to use half the recommended dose on the package. As soon as your flower horn fish react well, after two days, you can sprinkle the rest of the salt. If however, the flower horn fish feel worse, do not waste time and quickly catch them in an unsalted tank. Another important note, do not pour salt directly into the aquarium. Take a glass of water and make a solution of the appropriate concentration and then gradually add it to the aquarium water. With evaporation, the amount of water decreases. This means a higher salt concentration. During the treatment, check the water level and if necessary, add it to the tank. So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel Blue Aquatics and also ring the bell icon. This will help you in receiving notifications. The YouTube channel that shares the best knowledge on flower horn fish keeping. So happy flower horn fish keeping everyone.